Hey guys, it's Teacher Kayla again. So this week is dolphin theme. I love dolphin theme. And today I'm going to be doing core with you, which I'm really excited about because I haven't done core yet. So core essentially helps you with your balancing and your breathing in the pool when we're teaching you to swim or when you're swimming already on your own, doing stroke or just breathing normally. And um core when you do when you work with core you're working your tummy muscles so also you'll get nice strong tummy muscles um today with me we're going to be doing four exercises which i will explain before we do it but we're also going to make it a little bit more interesting we're going to sing the if you're happy and you know it dolphin song so all i need you guys to do is to first take imaginary glue and glue your legs together don't take real glue just imaginary glue pretend to put your legs together it must be together and straight because how many tails does a dolphin have? It has one, one tail, and then you just need to sing along with me and copy me and have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun. So I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Before we start, I want to go through the four exercises quickly so we don't have to worry about it in between. So when I say if you're happy and you know it, jump up high. We're going to do something called a burpee. So you're going to keep your legs straightened together. You're going to jump up, put your hands on the floor, push your dolphin legs out, back in, stand up. Okay, so just remember, keep your legs straightened together the whole time. I'm gonna do it again. So if you're happy and you know it, jump up high, up, out, in. And you're gonna try to do it really fast. When I say if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin push up. Your legs are straightened together, uh, straightened together again. Your hands on the floor, and we're just going to do a normal push up. So legs out. You just got to go close to the floor and up. Don't let your dolphin tail rest on the floor. When I say if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump. We're back on the floor. Your hands are here. Your legs are straightened together. You jump forward, jump back. Easy, 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 easy. And then when I say if you're happy and you know it, do a plank, a dolphin plank. You're going to, again, on the floor, and you're just going to hold this for one, two, three. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. And the whole time, your legs are straightened together. Okay, let's go. Guys, are we ready? So let's go. If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump. Down, out, in. Good. If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump. Down, out, in. Good. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump. Down, out, in. Good job, guys. If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin plank. Down, legs out, go one, two, three, four, five. Well done, guys. If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin plank. Down, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin plank. Last half. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Well done, guys. Okay, ready? If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin push up. Down again. Ready? Down to the floor and up. Good. If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin push up. Down, up. Good job, guys. Last time. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin push up. Good job, guys. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump up high. Ready? Up. Out, in, stand up. And again, if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump up high. One, two, three. Last time. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a dolphin jump up high. Two, three. Hello, all my swimmers. I'm Teacher Lakem, and today we are going to be dolphins. Now, think about a dolphin. 
Can anybody tell me, does a dolphin have a short nose? No, very good job. Dolphins have very, very long noses. So today, you and I are going to pretend that we have dolphin noses. And the way we're going to do this is by putting our arms together like this in front of our faces. This makes a long dolphin nose for us so that we can swim in streamline. Very good, everybody. So, we are going to do some tricks with our long dolphin noses today. And in order to do those tricks, you need to grab for me a basket or a box or something to throw things in and some balls or some socks or teddy bears or anything you want. Alright, let's get started. Right, my dolphins, before we can do those dolphin tricks, we need to warm up our long dolphin noses. So what we're going to do is we're going to do windmill arms for 10 seconds. Let's do them together. So we're going to start. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very, very good, my dolphins. Now we're going to do the same when we're on backwards for another ten seconds. Let's start. One, two, make sure your arm comes right up by your ear. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very, very good, all my dolphins. Right, everybody, now that we've stretched out our long dolphin arms, we need to stretch out our dolphin legs. So we're going to try and do some kicks. Dolphins are very good at kicking, so I want to see those legs go very high. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our legs up and try to touch our toes. And we're going to do that 10 times with each leg. Alright, everybody ready? Let's begin. And one. Very good. And two. Very good. And three. Very good. Four. And five. And six. Keep going, everybody. Almost done. Seven. Eight. One more. Nine. And last one. Ten. Very good, my dolphins. Now your whole body is ready to do some dolphin activity. Right. Now all my little dolphins are ready to do their dolphin activities. So as you can see, I've put my basket over there and I've got my little fishies over here because dolphins love to nom 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 on their fishies. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw our fishies into our basket, but we need to do it with dolphin arms. So what we're going to do is put our arms up in a dolphin position like this. We're going to take our fishy, we're going to go reach down, reach up to the sky and throw our fishy into the basket. You can make this a game with your mom and dad or your brother and sister or even a friend who's over at your house and see who can get the most fishies into their baskets. Right, let's do our other fishies and make sure to do it in your other hand this time. So, drop it on, we stand all the way up and fishy in the basket. Uh oh, I missed. Let's see if I can get it in on this one. Let's go. Dolphin arms, reach down, all the way up, and boom! Yes, got it in the basket. Another fishy to eat tonight. Let's see. Drop arms, fishy all the way down, up, and into the basket. And we got it in that time. Second last fishy, we are going to reach down, all the way up, and into the basket. Very good, everybody. And large fishy. Reach down, all the way up, and into the basket. Very, very good job, all my little dolphins. I hope you had fun with me today. I will see you next week. Bye. Hi, guys. Today we are going to do some dolphin exercises. I'm going to show you how to do some core as well. So we're going to, for this exercise, we need a mat. You can lay on a towel or you can lay on the carpet at home. And um, if you do, you can put a chair in front of you so that you can go over the chair with your legs. So we're going to lay down, core nice and tight, hips up, and hands on the side. Feet down, don't touch, and up. Don't touch, up. And move side to side. Side to side. Try and go a little bit faster and then a little bit slower. Change the rhythm if you can to get more impact on the core. So this exercise is a one leg stand. So this is balance and core at the same time. What you're gonna need for this, you can still you can still stand on your mat or on your towel if you have to. Uh, I'm using a kettlebell, 
but you can use a brick, a block, a toy, you can use anything that you can lift up, you can even use a chair if you want to. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a kettlebell and then I'll show you how to do it with a chair. Okay, so one leg stand, flamingo stand, and hands down, core always nice and tight, and down, pick up, pull. Okay, you can make sure that your knee is 90 degrees. That way we use the obliques as well and the lower abs. Okay, so down and up. And down and up. Okay, next exercise is going to be the penguin crawl. So for this exercise, you only need a mat. It's four legs and stretching at the same time. Okay, so what you're gonna need is your mat. Okay, arms up, feet together, knees touching, arms up, and down, this is where we stretch, all the way down, walk, 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 plank, one, two, three, four, five, and walk, 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 and up, down, let's go, one, two, three, four, Walks one, two, three, four, five. My core is contracted, my arms are nice and straight. I'm balancing on my wrist, and my hips are tucked in. Up, 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 and arms up again. Let's try it and walk, 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 walk. Feet still in natural position, head still in natural position. One, two, three, four, five, and walk, and up. That's your core exercises. Core exercise, you're going to be laying on your mat and on your tummy. It's a back and core exercise, but at the same time, balance as well. So we're going to lay down on the mat. Head in natural position, arms out, legs up here, not touching the floor, and down, and up, and down, and up, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, and down, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down, feel the burn, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down, and up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, my legs are still up, my chest is up, and my tummy is the only thing touching the mat. Hi guys, it's Teacher Asha. Hope you're all doing well, keeping safe and keeping warm during this time. So for the dolphin theme this week, I need you guys to find a big space in your house and I need you guys to have a piece of paper, two of your favorite color pens or cookies, some press stick and a wall. Cool, let's get started. Hey guys, so for the first activity today, I want you to find a big space in your house so that we can do some dolphin exercises together. Okay, cool, let's get started. So because we're dolphins, we're gonna be jumping in and out of the water just like dolphins do, okay? So follow me. Okay, we're gonna jump, touch your toes. Jump, touch your toes. Jump, touch your toes. Jump, touch your toes. Two more times, jump, touch your toes. Last time, jump and touch your toes. Cool. So. I want you to sit down and then what we're going to do together is we're going to use our legs as a big tail and you're going to move from side to side. Cool, just like this. You're going to do it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last time, ten. Good. Once you've done that, I want you to bring your legs in close to you and make your legs look like a big dolphin tail. Okay? And then what I want you guys to do is hold on your feet tight like this. And then take your one hand, your right hand, 
and stretch it over to the left side. Hold your toes, take your left hand, stretch it over to the right side. Okay, we're gonna do this five times. Big stretch, one, two, three, four, and five. Cool, so we're not gonna move out of this position and we're gonna do another activity, okay? So, I want you to hold onto your feet, take your right hand, and stretch it over your left side. Bring it back, do the same with your left hand, okay? And then we're gonna stretch it over to our right side, and we're gonna do this five times. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, last time, and five. Cool. Still sitting in this position, we are going to do some front stroke and some back stroke together, okay? So I want you to take your right hand and push past your ear and bring it back, okay? We're going to do it five times. One, Two, three, four, and five. Good. Now we're going to do it with our left hand. Okay. Just back stroke for now. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're gonna do front stroke with our right hand. Let's go. Gonna bring it all the way to the front. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do it with our left hand. One, two, Three, four, last time, five. Good job, guys. Well done. Okay, guys, so for the second activity, I want you to take your press stick, the two favorite colors, and a piece of paper. And what I want you to do is ask mom or dad to draw a beautiful dolphin on it, okay? And then once that is done, I want you to find the wall, and stick your piece of paper onto the wall. Okay, you must remember to get all four sides so it doesn't come off. Okay. Once you've stuck it on your wall, I want you to sit down in front of it. And I want you to take your first favorite color and I want you to trace your dolphin with your dominant hand, or in my case, my right hand. Okay, and we're gonna go over it only two times. So I want you to trace your dolphin. Good. One more time. And then once you've done that, I want you to take your less dominant hand, or in my case, my left hand, and I want you to go over it twice. It's okay if it looks a little bit messy. Okay. Okay, well done guys. 
Now you have a very colorful and beautiful dolphin. Good job. Hello and welcome back to another week. I hope everyone is safe. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you're staying at home. This week we'll be doing some balance exercises. So what you'll need is you'll need a couple of boxes. So please look around the house for different sizes of boxes and um, please just ensure that they are clean because we'll be using our mouth to pick up the boxes. Okay, so I've got um, one, two, three, four. Okay, I've got five boxes, four boxes actually, and one paper bag. So if you can't find boxes, you can use shopping bags or anything that is light and is um, different heights. Okay, so just gonna place our boxes. I'll start, I'll start with the biggest box. Place it over here. Make sure that the side is up so you can pick it up. Okay. Then you can place the next size over there. Next size over there. We're going to be hopping on one leg to each of the different size boxes, picking them up on one leg. Okay, this activity we'll do with our right leg and our left leg. Okay, so I'm just going to do some stretches so I don't hurt myself. Okay, 10 seconds on each side. Um, Stretch over to the side, stretch over to the other side. I've stretched already, so okay. So, firstly, I'm gonna hop to the first box. Then I'm gonna move it away so that you can see the other boxes. Okay, let's see my balance. And I'm picking up. Put it down. Balancing your balancing. 
See you all next week. Keep safe. Goodbye. Hi everyone, Teacher Tyler here. I hope you guys are doing super well. This week is dolphin theme and we'll be doing some yoga today. The yoga poses that we are going to be doing are animal poses, but all of these animals are the dolphin's friends. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so like I said, all you need for this video is a nice soft blanket or a yoga mat. And that's about it. So, the first pose that we'll be doing is the sea turtle pose. So you're gonna put your feet together just like this. Yes, I'm wearing two different kind of socks. You're gonna take your one hand and the other, put it through your legs like this, and stitch it as far as you possibly can. And I want you to bend forward as far as you can, and you are going to hold this pose for 30 seconds. Okay, next up, we are going to cross our legs, just like this, and we're going to put our hands on our knees, and we're just going to take deep breaths in and out for 30 seconds. Okay, well done. Next up, we are going to be doing the crab pose. So, we are going to turn to the side, just like this. You're going to place your arms like this. See, hand facing that way. And we are going to lift up. Oh, we are going to lift up, just like that. And we're gonna hold this pose for 30 seconds. And we are done. Okay. Next pose, we are going to be laying on our tummies. And this pose is called the dolphin pose. You're going to lay flat on your tummy like this. Oh. <laughs> Put your arms behind you and lift your head up. And we are going to hold this pose for 30 seconds. good job everyone lastly we are going to be laying flat on our backs just like this oh and this pose is called the starfish pose we are going to take our hands place them on our tummies like this and we are going to focus on our breathing
Okay, and that is all. I hope you guys had tons of fun. This week was dolphin theme and we did all of the yoga poses that the animals do in the ocean. So, hope you guys had tons of fun and I'll see you next week.